What's up everyone, how are we doing? I have you on like a, a tripod today. It's kind of like a selfie stick. So I apologize for the shakiness that's gonna occur here. But I was about to do some um, banded trap bar jumps, or not jumps actually, banded trap bar pulls. And I posted about this the other day on Instagram and people were like, Max, why are you doing banded trap bar pulls in the basement uh, with no weight on the bar? And I was like, well, that's a fair question. Um, and it's a question I've gotten before, so it makes sense as I walk over to the trap bar here, because I want to show you this. Um, it's because my ceilings are really low. I can't jump with just a trap bar. There it is, hanging out with just a trap bar and not hit my head on the ceiling. Well, at least maybe not run the risk. I suppose if I jumped in between, I could get through. As you see, by the way, big basement addition to get is the bow. Not the bows. I can't even think this morning. A Sonos. Uh, speakers. I really enjoy those. We just stick them up in the ceilings and they, they make the basement knock. But back to the point of this. I use bands on here um, to make sure that I don't hit my head on the ceiling. Why? Because the bands allow me to pull rapidly from the bottom position, accelerate it like I am jumping, but not actually jump and hit my head on the ceiling. So I wonder if you guys can see this. I'm going to adjust this because this is like duct tape version of a, a YouTube video here, but you guys have to deal with it. Good night, you can see. I have my bands here attached to this. And so at the bottom position, there's some tension, but there really isn't that much tension. Um, you can actually use a lighter band too. I mean, so there is some, don't get me wrong. It's not like it's just an empty bar, but it really isn't that much tension at all. I can't imagine it being more than all. I could actually just weigh it instead of being lazy. Um, I don't know, 15 pounds each side, maybe. Maybe at most. So even though I was jumping with 15 pounds in the bottom position, uh, I'd still hit my head on the ceiling or come close to it. So the point is, you have to look at an exercise and make the modifications where you can, but also think about what's the important aspect of jumping with really light weights? Well, really light weights, when you jump with them, you don't have much mass or weight to overcome in the bottom position. So you're working on that rapid acceleration out of the bottom position. Well, in this set up here, I can still work on overcoming minimal amount of weight that is really light, but then still accelerate it all the way through without having to hit my head on the ceiling and jump. And so that's where the bands can be helpful. So bands are a form of accommodating resistance. I've probably talked about this on this page before, but we'll talk about it again as you guys get a view of mine. People say like, Max, we love the unfinished basement and we have, someone actually commented this and I appreciate the comment. They're like, I see you getting that work in the unfinished basement. No, this is intentionally unfinished for the moment. Uh, I guess I will finish it. I'm looking for turf right now to put on the ground here. Um, but we keep getting new equipment and everything and I don't know how big it's going to be. So I'm not really interested in finishing it at the moment if I don't even know what the plans will be. But the point is, as I get off, you can tell I've had a lot of coffee this morning probably. Um, I don't know why I'm moving this over here, but I'm going to try to put this on the stand. Maybe I'll crouch and talk to you guys. I hate walking with this. So I'm going to get like on one knee or like a leaning position. I'm going to isometric lunge the rest of this video out. Well, we have accommodating resistance because accommodating simply means it fits to the strength curve that you're, it accommodates to it that you're doing. And so the bottom position, I don't want much weight. And so when I have the bands and I go upright at the bottom position, um, switched legs here right now I'm trying to not get too sore before i go work out um bottom position i don't want much weight so the bands aren't tight but as i pull it up i don't want to leave the ground and hit my head so that's where i get a lot of actually band tension so i can accelerate through the full range of motion if i were to just take a really light weight like the trap bar just stand up with it really quick the issue is i spend yeah the initial phase accelerating but the rest of the phase actually decelerating so i don't leave the ground with a band, I can continue to apply force into the ground, try to move as fast as I can, try to accelerate it, apply force to the full range of motion, and at the top, I don't need to leave the ground because the band is tight enough. And so that's why we use the I use the bands um, and that movement particularly there. Now, bands can also accelerate you down eccentrically. Maybe I'll make a separate video talking about that, but this one I'm just talking about why I use trap bar jumps. They're not really jumps. Trap bar speed deadlifts, whatever, with band tension and not jump because I don't want to hit my head on the ceiling. But also, it's a little bit different because you do get to have that applied force throughout the range of motion on like just a speed deadlift where there's no bands because the bands accommodate the resistance throughout the movement. Why do this? Good question. Well, it works potentially on the accelerative strength, the ability to train that full range of motion to accelerate the bar. 
But also, it's kind of fun too, because you get bands and it's kind of a different kind of stimulus because you get that feedback of having to accelerate it. But also, it just makes sure I don't leave the ground and hit the head, my head on the ceiling. Um, I say the head as if it's not mine. No, it is my head on the ceiling uh, because it's very possible. It's not a very high ceiling down here. I don't want to hit my noggin on it and get hurt. So, I appreciate you guys as always. Thanks for tuning in. Here's my lovely basement. If you guys like these videos, let me know. Comment. Let me know what you want to hear me talk about. I got to make more of these videos. I've been really bad about it. I'll get back on it because I can just do it as I do some isometrical <laughs> lunges in the morning and drink my coffee or whatever. So I appreciate you guys as always. Take care and enjoy.